health, security and economic risks make isolation seem an attractive option, but will standing alone make you stronger? Or in the end, will it leave you weak? That's kind of the power of identity to override a kind of, well, first of all, rationality, but also, um, you know, commitment to institutions and, and democratic principles. And I think that is the crisis that we uh, face. There's clearly a continued need for European unity uh, as we move forward, a sense of strategic patience. Let's have less toxic discussion about Russia, less, less emotional. Ukraine has gone from a sort of a friendly country, not necessarily allied, but friendly country, to also potentially a hostile country. And that's a huge strategic shift if you're sitting in Moscow. It would be quite an affront to the European Union to think that some years ago they defined this concept of Eastern partnership with these six countries. And in the decades since then, Russia has put troops on all of them. Russia is becoming more tolerant towards more proactive role of the non-Western players uh, in the former USSR, including China and Turkey. Russia's fundamental attitude towards the West has not changed. There is no narrowing of the values gap taking place. Rhetoric about cyber campaigns is escalating, heightening the pressure for tough action. We have to recognize that our elections, our domestic security is so heavily manipulable now and dependent upon uh, digital threats, ranging from disinformation on social media to actual you know, hacking. And it's so much cheaper to do that than ever invade anyone. We spend fortunes building up against these non-existent catastrophic threats um, uh, and we don't then look at supply chain compromises. We don't uh, look at resilience measures which are crucially uh, important. One of the challenges is how do we keep at least part of the US in the, uh, attention in our region Europe writ large uh, and should we do something in the Far East in the, uh, China together with the Americans to show that uh, you know they are not alone there for the sake of our, you know our children um, and their children it is simply wrong to be pessimistic about democracy you know for someone uh, you know of, of my you know our generation to say we you know it's all terrible and it can't be fixed is to leave them with nothing you know with no with no future uh, and i simply won't do that um, even whatever the worst outcomes are um, i will always argue that there's something to fight for